recording. Is it recording now? Yes. yes. Okay. Um, good afternoon. Good morning. Uh, this is Jenkins Advocacy and Outreach SIG. Today is uh, Thursday, July 14th. I have on the agenda GSOC update from Jean-Marc, uh, a quick DevOps world update, CDF slash Buffy update, and any is there anything else we should add? Those are all that I know about. Yep. Excellent. Oh, do we do we need to have any conversation about scale 19x? Um, we we can. I don't have anything new to update, so that's kind of like why I left no, it off. No need to have it then. Okay. Um, so, John Mark, you want to take over the, the GSAC update? Uh, it's working well. I had the uh, office hour uh, just a couple of minutes ago. Everything is going well. Uh, the contributors are getting ready for the Jenkins online meetup. Uh, I shared with them that uh, we might run out of uh, sponsoring funds to get them uh, to DevOps world. And so they're, they know that the likelihood is decreasing slowly. Uh, nothing really uh, uh, interesting or general to uh, to share on that uh, activity. Okay, Looking so good. so with regards to last year's um, GSOC stipend, uh, Mark, you saw the email. Um, we need I need to do some more digging with regards to what happened last year. It looks like. Oleg suggested reaching out to Kara. So I will do that. Uh, but according to the Linux Foundation, they did not find a registration um, for last year. So that kind of makes me worry. Uh, no, it may just mean that Kara, Kara chose to, or we intentionally did it and didn't make note of it, that we weren't going to ask for the stipend. So that's yeah. if that happened, that's okay, right? I mean, it's, okay. it's optional that ah. Google offers the stipend and we may have just said, look, we're not going to try to, we're not going to try to do the complicated thing of getting that stipend paid to us. Okay. Okay. So, well, I'll, I'll root cause that and see uh, what happened. Um, for DevOps world. So the next phase is that the agenda is currently up. So the next phase is we need to help the event promote it. So how we've done this in the past is, by providing technical content about our speaker sessions. And we do that via blogs and tweets and LinkedIn posts. Um, but mainly we, we don't want to do like a marketing pitch, but maybe, you know, hey, this is join, I'm speaking here. This is what you can learn when you join, that kind of, uh, kind of content. So I will be driving that effort with Bruno and Jean-Marc. Um, in this next phase, but I'm hoping that we could have content to post at least like once a week, just to keep the, the noise rolling. So Jean-Marc, I will reach out to you on that. Yep. So, and John mark and I and, and Bruno have been discussing very actively what we're going to do for a two hour uh, contributing to open source workshop. We've got concepts that we're, we're preparing and ideas. So I think I think for at least John, Mark, me, and Bruno, we could we can help with that in terms of providing a blog post or yep. or tweet or you know etc. So absolutely, would love to. We've got a we've got an initiative around making it easier to contribute to Jenkins, and it's a great excuse to highlight that. Now it may be several weeks before we're ready, a few weeks before we're ready to trumpet that because I got to we've got to finish the writing part of the the content, but. But I, it's a good one, Alyssa. Let's use it. Good. Let's do it. Yeah. Okay. Now, I think this is kind of like the first time that we're doing this, Mark, right? How many people do you anticipate attending? Because we're trying to work with the events team on the setup for the room. And John Mark and I had this discussion yesterday. Mm. I don't anticipate it to be like a pipeline workshop where it's, you know, um, standing room and such. 
But yeah, so so we think we were thinking we could support uh, uh, from thirty to sixty okay. attending. Okay. John Mark, are you still okay with that as a concept? We've we've got yeah. working model for thirty and. And I think it would be a fun thing if, if we got more than 30, but if we get much beyond 60, if it gets to a hundred, it's probably going to be tough. There, okay. there we, we will not be able to, to go, especially if we want to feed uh, the fast, uh, the, the one that move ahead fast with uh, additional material. Right. Uh, now, it will we, keep we, us busy. We could consider if we've got, so you, you had a note there that Alex Brandes and Uli Hoffner, um, we may be able to, to have, if Alex can be there, he would be a great helper for our workshop. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, okay. well, there I feel more comfortable. Okay. So if, if we could persuade Alex to be a, a participant in the workshop, he'd be a great voice to have. Okay. So, yep. Good. The principle, uh, Alyssa, is that the people will will work in pair. This is how we can reach the maximum capacity of 60. Okay. Right. All right. OK. But I, I triggered the discussion, Mark, uh, with Alyssa, that we have enough space to move yes. between the tables. Mm -hmm. uh, but th this is barely under control otherwise they, they need to reshuffle the room and is going to, to to fail on that day yeah so we certainly don't we'll want to make, make them adjust the room layout right we but let's let's be sure that we've got space that we can work but if if they tell us oh no the room's only set for 20 okay we understand that we'll we'll plan for 20 if the room is set for 200 uh, then we'll probably tend to use a smaller one. fraction of the total mm. room mm -hmm. yeah. or have the people use one bench right uh, exactly alternating uh, alternating benches that kind of thing alternating yep. seats yeah okay uh yeah i'm working with the events team on that so i will keep you uh posted with what they can do great uh lisa uh, yeah. the the size of the blog posts uh mm -hmm. to prepare are these uh, regular uh, thousand words blog posts or less or 500? Well, 500 would be a good target. Otherwise, the people will not read. Or Do you have an idea about that? Um, I've seen them short and long, Jean-Marc. Some of the great um, blog posts are very detailed, very technical. So those tend to be long. Yeah. So I don't have a specific preference, but I mean, it, it, I think it really depends on the content that we deliver. I'm, I'm going to check on previous versions mm -hmm. to, to see what, so I have yeah. a target. Yeah. Because yeah. I don't and, want to bore people. <laughs> and I can, I can dig some up and, and share it with you too, which the ones that I thought were, were great. Yeah, okay, that okay. would be very helpful, yeah. Okay. And then, um, so the next item, Mark, you already went ahead and alluded about the, the, the Contributor Summit. So I just got news from Uli this morning. So this is like right uh, hot off the press. So um, he will be able to join, but he might need to leave early, which is perfectly fine. At least he'll be there for the Contributor Summit and perhaps uh, uh, Wednesday. Great. Okay. okay. Yeah. So I am working with them on the logistical details on finances and such. And, you know, we want to make sure that we take care of them with regards to reimbursing them accordingly after the event. Um, and then, you know, any logistical issues they have, I'm working directly with them as well, just to make sure that it's, it's a smooth process for them and there's no roadblocks. Um, so we are, so Bruno, uh, Mark and I are working on the agenda for the Contributor Summit. Mark has given us some great directions on where to head to, and I'm working on the, the, the scenes of, you know, confirming people in attendance and that they are giving us their blessing that they will speak. Um, so that's in the process for me. And then next week, 
uh, Bruno will send out a, a conversation via discourse and we will solicit additional feedback and input at that point. But that is our current plan. Okay. Excellent. Okay. Thank you. Thanks, Alyssa. You bet. CDF and Bevy. So there's been talks of moving meetup.com to Bevy. Decision has not been made. So we had a discussion this week. Thank you, Jean-Marc and Mark for leading that discussion with um, CDF, but I think they have a very clear understanding of our needs. So um, they just need to take that information and go back and work on their numbers and see what will work for them and what will work for us because of definitely we do not want um, any features taken away from us. Uh, we, we kind of, I think we're okay with Meetup at the moment, but we're willing to, to, to try out Bevy as well. And then Zoom will remain as is at this moment. That's Even it. with some improvements to have individual accounts. Yes. Yeah. Or SIG related accounts. No. Yep. And that's it. Let me stop the recording.